This is how to print multicolor models with a single color 3D printer. To open up Prusa Slicer, I have version 2.7. I think you go 2.6 or newer. All right, first thing you want to do is import your file straight right in. And there we have it. Now what you want to do is scale it to the right size that you want the print to be. In our case, we're going to do 200% and hit enter. Last thing we're going to do is, for convenience sake, we're going to rotate it on the z-axis so it's front and back. And now we can use like the number key three. First you're gonna click out of it. Number click three to get the front view or for the back view, this angle. We're gonna zoom in a little bit so it's a little bit easier for us to select. Now select your model and then go to the cut panel or shortcut C. Pull this out of the way. We're gonna zoom back in, we're gonna hold down shift and we're gonna kinda like click and pull, like we're gonna make a little cutting path. So let's try this. It's gonna look something like this and I'd say roughly like this. Now we got the plane selected. You see that angle right there? And now we're gonna carefully rotate it. And we see here it cuts through the head a little bit. So what we want to do is move it up a little bit until until it's just the two antlers by themselves like that. We're going to get it as close as we can without them touching. So right now we're trying to isolate the antlers from the rest of the body. So we could print the antlers in one color. And then after we do this, we're going to cut out the nose and we're going to make it another color. So nose is going to be red. Antlers is going to be like a neutral color. And then the body is going to be brown. Okay. So now we got the right kind of right angle it's as close as we're going to get, I think. Um, so now we need to make sure it's just the antlers and the rest of the body is all the same. So now what you want to do is right click on all the parts that you want to keep together. So right now all the purple are one part and all the blue is the other cut. So click right click all the way around. You gotta be careful when you're moving around so you don't select something else. Right click, and now we have the two parts separated. Now we're gonna have to add some connectors right here. So right now the depth is set to three millimeters, but the size is the width. So let's start off here. Right here, I think it's too thin in my opinion. So we'll go in and we'll make it about 4.5. So. When you look at it, that's a good ratio, not too much, not too little. Let's move that right there and then we're going to click again right here to make another one. So we're using the plug method. So there's going to be little points uh, on this side and then on the antlers there will be holes where they go in. Another thing I like to add just for 3D printing sake, a little tolerance of 0.15. I feel like that's a good number to work with in my opinion. Could be more, could be less, but I start from there. If you have problems, just add more or subtract. All right. So now we're going to confirm the connectors. And now what we're going to do is perform cut. So now we got the body with the antlers with the little, little pins there. And the holes are in there. So when we slice it, we got the holes in there and the pegs coming out of the head. Okay, so now we need to do the same thing with the nose. So let's rename this first. Let's call these antlers. And then we'll keep that as body. Okay, so now again, we're gonna go into the side view and I feel like it's easier for me to go like this. So we're gonna go to the other side here. Right, so we want to select the body that we want to cut, which is the main body here, and then hit cut or C. And then what you want to do is hold shift, click and drag. So it's a little bit easier here because the ears aren't in the way like last time. Then we get the perfect cut right there. And then again, we're going to go and do add connectors. We want the same style connectors. Oh, we missed a part here, but we can do that after. So we're going to put a connector right here for the nose. Again, I feel like this is too small. We're going to bump it up to, oh, that's way too big. Edit, 
10 millimeters. I feel like that's a good size. All right, and then we're gonna move it around to a better place right there. Confirm connectors. So now, while we're still in this view, we're gonna right click on the forehead here. So then that part stays together. And then we got the nose, which is gonna be a different color. Okay, now we're gonna perform cut. And now we got the nose right here all by itself. And we're gonna rename that to nose. And then you could slice it all together, or in our case, we're gonna slice each individual parts and then print it each individual parts in different colors and then put it together and uh, I'll show you what the final product will uh, look like here. If you don't have a multicolor printer, you only have one extruder. So this is the closest way to do it. It's not always gonna work with all the files, but most of the time, something simple like this, it's uh, it works out just fine. So this is a quick solution on how to print with multiple colors on a single extruder printer.